Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us to come together as a family with you and with the Son. Thank you for the blessings that you bestowed upon us and all of the care that you have for us. Heavenly Father, I pray for your gardens and your soul travels, which you can wish to bring down from back to school. I pray that she has a peace for you. Heavenly Father, I ask you to continue to guide her in her life and in everything that she does. Again, I pray for your traveling days. I pray that your hand of God come against her during this trip. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I pray this prayer. Amen. Good morning, queens and kings. So I'm just gonna get right into this video because as y'all can see, I am already in my car and I am packed up, you guys. I am on the way back to Hampton. This is gonna be a 24 hour drive, but I'm making it more like a two day trip. So right now I am on the way to Atlanta. I just pulled off from my house and I am sitting at the gas station. Just filled up on gas, full tank, all of that good stuff. And yes, y'all, I'm gonna finally get on the road to Atlanta. That is the halfway point to Hamptons. But yeah, you guys, as you can see, I am packed to the top. Like my car is fully stacked. I was gonna record me packing and stuff, but y'all, it was kind of a stressful process and I didn't want to do that to y'all, okay? I already did it to myself. <laughs> so I will catch up with you guys once I'm either in Louisiana or, you know, whenever I stop again. <laughs> I can get a toy yeah, you just wanna party. You just wanna lap dance. You just wanna... All right, hey you guys. So I have just made my first stop. Um, my gas tank was on empty. It got empty pretty fast, but it's because I had like half regular gas and then half, you know, the Supreme gas. But I just got done filling up with the Supreme, so that should last me until I get to Atlanta or Mississippi, whichever one I stopped at first. <laughs> but I am also about to go ahead and get me some Wendy's because I haven't ate today. So that is what I'm about to do. I am already in Louisiana. Um, I'm getting close to Mississippi so but I'm feeling pretty good I'm not tired or anything and yeah I just wanted to give y'all an update and I will see y'all the next update like it crowded. Like, whoa, whoa. yeah I like it crowded oh you like the boy well tell me what you like about him you a talk a little daddy ain't no wife about it I'm gonna fuck a friends and send them back to metro housing yeah Y'all, I have made it to Atlanta and the first thing I see is a whole bike marathon. Like, <laughs> it is so many of them. Oh my gosh. But yes, y'all, I am finally in Atlanta. This is a cute little town. Um, I'm about five minutes away from my B&B, so we will be there soon. Good morning, queens and kings. It is the next day, and as you guys can see, I have made it to ATL. I did not get to close off the vlog last night because I didn't get here until about 11 p.m. last night, and y'all can imagine how tired I was after a 12-hour drive. So, your girl got something to eat, and then I went straight to sleep, but it is a new morning and we are in atl for the day i don't plan on leaving until early tomorrow morning so we have a few things planned today so right now i am getting ready for um my covid test appointment i need a covid test in order to move into my dorm so the appointment um, in Hampton was fully booked and in Texas, I couldn't get an appointment. So I had to book an appointment in ATL. So yes, y'all, that is at 11.40 a.m. Well, no, it's 11.40 a.m. right now. My appointment is at 12.40. So 
I am about to go ahead and get ready to go to bed. And then after my appointment, I plan on going to this place called The Bendo so I can get some more crack wings. If y'all seen my other 24 hour road trip vlog, y'all know about The Bendo. And I want some more, I want some crack wings and then I want to try their strawberry heat wings. So for sure gonna stop by there today. Um, and then I also just bought a movie ticket to go see the Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. One of them, you know, the little dinosaur movie, the new one that just came out. But I am going to see it in 4D, so I am so excited for that. Um, and yes, I think that is all I have planned for today. I did want to go to the Coca-Cola Museum, but it's supposed to be raining later on today and I do not want to be out there in the rain, okay? So, um, my movie is at 3.40, so that should get around with like 6. I'm going to give them to 6 and it's supposed to start raining at about 5. So, after the movie, I'm just going to come back to the house, chill, relax, get some rest. So that I can leave early tomorrow morning. So yes, you guys, let me go ahead, finish getting dressed for the day. All right, you guys, so this is what I am wearing today. It's just this really cute, long, maxi black dress from Blushmark. Make sure y'all use my link in my bio below to shop. But yes, you guys, this is what I am wearing today. I actually do want to change shoes, but I packed all of my shoes up in the tub. So if I can get to the tub, to so the pair of shoes that I specifically want to wear, then I will put them on. But if not, then these are gonna have to do with my little crackianas. <laughs> but yes, you guys, I'm about to go ahead and head out. The place is, I'm saying the place, CBS is about five minutes away from here. So I shouldn't be too late. It's 12.24 right now. Like I said, my appointment is at 12.40. But yes, I did wanna give you guys a little room tour of the place that I'm staying at. So let's do it. So as you can see, I guess I can start here. We have this huge mirror in the corner. I absolutely love it. <laughs> and then you turn around and you have the closet right there, the bed, um, ignore my mess. I brought my suitcase in. You have this dresser, um, fan of course, and then this really huge TV, with, you know, essentials and stuff on it. And then you go ahead, walk on out. It's a hallway. Um, you keep going. So these right here leads to the second level. Right now I am on the third level. So I walk into this room. They have a little theater area. I absolutely love this with a little treadmill in the back. And then this is my bathroom right here. You know, cute, simple bathroom, pretty nice mirror. Um, and the shower, the shower is really nice too, glass doors. And this is my favorite part of the room that I'm staying in. So I can literally just walk outside and it's like a whole freaking vacation spot out here, y'all. <laughs> They have a whole little bar area with a TV, a jacuzzi, a pool, all of these really nice palm trees and everything. Y'all, it is so pretty out here. I am most definitely going to dip my feet in the pool once I get back. But yes, it's so beautiful. I love the way they decor their place. But this is the back of their house. They have a little screen area up there. And yes, you can like leave the stairs up and go up there as well. But yes, y'all, I just want to show you guys the little area that I'm staying in. I just love, love, love this background. Like this pool in the back, everything is just giving vacation. Like I made a whole resort or something. <laughs> this is like my house goals for real, but. Yes, y'all, let me get going. Um, Like I said, I have to be there in like 20 minutes, so. See y'all later. Where's CBS, y'all? Right there. Negative. All right, you guys. So I have just got out of CBS, and 
your girl COVID results was negative thank god i knew i didn't have COVID, y'all it's just i need this proof um to give to my dorm director once i move in but i also went and got a few little things from cbs like i told y'all er earlier i needed to get a toothbrush so i just got a little pack of toothbrushes um i also got some edge control because as y'all can see your girl edge is looking a little rough and i packed packed my edge control like it's like deep in there and i wasn't gonna go through it so i just got me another one this is actually a different brand than the one that i usually get but it is the ebon it's not focusing for y'all real quick yeah it's not focusing but it's the 24 hour edge tamer by ebon new york and then i also got two lip products i got some burt's bees the vanilla bean lip balm because i needed some more lip balm because your girl don't be feeling like wearing lip gloss 24 7 all the time i just be wanting a little lip balm a little moisture okay so i got some lip balm and then i needed another brown lip liner pencil so i'm actually about to go ahead and do this right now because your girl looks looking a little dry y'all feel me and i ran out of um brown lip liner as well so y'all know what my favorite combo is brown lip liner with clear lip gloss that's all i need that's all your girl need so yes i'm gonna go ahead and put this on and i am actually about to go ahead and head to the movies i thought i was gonna go to the bando um before i went to the movies but they not a, they don't even let you bring you know food inside you know some movie theaters they let you bring you know little snacks or something but the this one that i'm going to they won't let me bring no food inside which was my plan so um i'm just gonna have to go to the bando after the movies that'll just be my dinner or something and yes you guys i'm actually really excited for this movie i'm going to see the Jurassic world um dominion and from what i've heard it's a pretty good movie so yes 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 this is my first time trying this lip liner so we're gonna see how i like it let's see real easy to apply which means it's easy to mess up too because <laughs> one little wrong line and you'll be done for but so i have my lips lined <laughs> it looks so stupid right now but give me a second this lip gloss is actually really 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 sticky i got it from the beauty supply store it's the ruby kiss ruby kisses crystal gloss it's really sticky but that is what makes it last longer so i'm not a big fan of sticky lip gloss but if i want it to last a pretty long time definitely like while i'm eating or something like that this is the go-to lip gloss for sure sticky lip gloss is for long lasting if you like your lip gloss a little oily you know it won't last as long because it just it can just run off your lips you lick your lips all of that but sticky lip gloss yes y'all it's where it's at but i just want y'all to see this see this transformation that's about to happen okay i already put some on my body and look but let's see i'm just gonna blend that in just like that yo so cute y'all this is like my favorite combo ever i love a brown lip liner and a clear lip gloss y'all period it just made my whole face just look done like i have no foundation or none of that on but it just looks it just makes me look like so much put together but yeah you guys okay so i got that done i'm gonna go ahead and lay my edges and then i will be on the way to the movies oh y'all let me tell y'all while i'm doing my edges so in cbs i guess they have in like this little deal or something where you sign up for this program and they give you ten dollars off plus you know any other coupons that you have on your little cbs account and y'all when i say hold on let me find it i went from 25 dollars all the way down to eight dollars and twenty cents y'all i literally could have spent 25 dollars in there and all the coupons and the little sign up thing that i did dropped it all the way down to eight dollars like period i just got all of this stuff for eight dollars y'all that is a really good deal so if you go to cbs for anything anytime soon 
make sure y'all sign up for that little program that they doing so you can get money off and it was ten dollars off you know you know most places it's like ten dollars off your next purchase the next time you come back no baby you could apply that ten dollars to the purchase you make it now and that's exactly what i did so i was supposed to be doing telling y'all this as i do my edges but it's okay i'm honestly in no rush it's 12 35 right now like i said my movie doesn't start until 3 40 till 3 25 so i have a whole two two and a half three hours left of doing nothing i know the movie theater is by a mall and you know just other shopping spaces so i may just walk around there you know find me something to eat but yes y'all it is a beautiful day i know y'all can see through the window it is a beautiful day in atl i am so excited i'm here i actually really love atl y'all i know i've only visited once well technically this is my second time but every single time i come it's just a good experience for real but oh y'all look at the edges okay Evan. i see y'all Go ahead lay this other side. <laughs> Y'all, I swear, when I go to school, people be like, you have such a deep, like, southern accent. And I never really heard it until someone mentioned it to me. Like, when you're up there in the east with all, like, you know, the New York and Chicago accents and all of that, you really, like, I really realized that I do have an accent, like a southern country accent <laughs> and i just never really noticed until last year when i went to school and i don't know it's kind of cute to me now now that i realize that i have it it's like oh okay southern accent <laughs> but yes y'all okay it just laid it just laid lips popping we good to go so i will see y'all when i get to the movies or you know wherever else i'm finna go like i said i'm finna go find me something to eat so i will see y'all then pretty good experience y'all i have i think i've only been to like one 4d movie like ever and it was when i was really younger so this is only like my second 4d movie and it was okay i would say it was okay the seats was kind of doing too much y'all know it's a dinosaur movie so it was shaking a lot but overall i would give the movie Mm, let's say like a 3.8 out of 5. The movie was pretty good. It's just, I wish the action was, you know, more towards the beginning. But yes, y'all, the movie is over and I am about to go ahead and head back to the house. Um, I haven't ate nothing today, y'all. So I'm actually about to go find me something to eat and then I will be on the way there. I might take a dip in the pool if it stops raining. It is raining outside right now, y'all. And I have no type of umbrella or nothing so <laughs> i am about to be running through the rain to my car it's a beautiful rainy day it's so the rain actually cooled down the weather so i'm looking for 12. All right, you guys, I have made it back to the house and I am outside because your girl finna dip her feet in the pool real quick.
my food is finally here you guys i got some burrito tacos and they look so good i'm gonna try them they know they could have gave me a bigger lime than this <laughs> but i guess i'll just put it all over oh y'all this really good i'm so hungry y'all this is the first thing i'm eating today hello Alright, y'all, so y'all not gotta do a dip. Don't mind um the background, it's the TV. I'm watching friends. If you know, you know. <laughs> but I'm just dipping it in there. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Good morning, Queens and Kings. It is the next day. What is today, y'all? I done lost count. Um Wednesday. <laughs> Today is Wednesday, you guys, and I am finally about to complete my trip to Hampton. So from Atlanta to Hampton, it's about an eight hour and 45 minute drive. So I'm gonna just round it up to nine hours. And yes, y'all, right now it is 934. And before I go to Hampton, Elena have this place called Ben Credibles. If you heard of it, comment down below. But I found this place on TikTok and I most definitely want to go today because everything they sell there today, specifically on Wednesday, is $1, y'all. <laughs> one dollar and i know the other days they have like different deals like ten dollars on fridays i think it's two dollar tuesdays or you know stuff like that and it's just a bunch of random stuff that they get from amazon and yes i want to go see and check it out i heard that you have to get there like extra early before they even open because the crowd be running in type of type of store okay so i am about to be on the way there it's about a 25 to 30 minute drive and yes i should get there as soon as they open y'all like hopefully i don't miss out on the good stuff because i know it's already people lined up outside but ain't nobody that excited for it okay <laughs> but yes i'm gonna be on the way there and i will see y'all when i get there Y'all, I have made it to Ben Credibles. I'm about to go ahead and run in here. I literally see people running in, y'all. <laughs> so I'm about to get in here and I will do a haul once I get out. I would like to get it. the store you guys it is literally 11 46 i went in at 10 15 y'all and i say it was so packed in there everybody scrambling through stuff and then on top of that once you find all of your stuff the line was long and they only had one person in the front to like checking people out but anyway i'm finally out of here and i want to show y'all what i got so this my receipt right here i spent a total of 16 dollars and 96 cents so that means i got a total of 16 things and you know the 96 cents was the tax and all of that good stuff so let me show y'all what i got first thing first is this right here it's pretty big and i don't, don't want to like blind y'all but it's just one of those like um car car reflector things to keep the sun out i've been needing one because it, it has been hot okay and i have leather seats so when i sit down it be burning me like all the time so finally got that the next thing i got was this poster right here y'all i don't even know what this poster looked like i just went off a limb and got it but it said that it's a african woman canvas painting and you know i seen a little bit of the front but i'm gonna open it now and show y'all because i want to see what it looked like too because i just bought it and i don't know what it looked like <laughs> i really hope these this is the color of my room because my room this year is black gold and gray and okay i like this it's her holding her head up with her hands but these little essence is gold 
Oh, y'all, look at it in the sun. It's so cute. Okay, period. And it's a good sizing, too. Yeah, I like this. I like this. All right. So far, so good. We got two good vibes. I'm going to move on to the next thing. And honestly, y'all, I didn't even spend $16. I really only spent $14, but I had bought this little bag that everything came in because I didn't feel like carrying everything to my car by hand because they don't give out bags. So I really only spent $14, and then I spent $2 on the little bags and then $0.96 cent on taxes. But anywho, we can go back. I also got this little clear case. It has a few little scratches and stuff on it, but I'm either going to decorate it or, you know, it's not too boo, too, too too bad so this is really cute i can put like my makeup brushes or you know little stuff like that in there so when i was in there shopping i was mostly thinking of you know what i can use for my dorm but you know i found some little knickknacks along the way i also got this um this uh airpod case yeah there we go it's really cute it's like a marble and gold looking case so i got this and then i also got this puzzle i've been wanting a puzzle y'all for the longest so i was like why not it's only a dollar and it's a thousand pieces puzzle it said it's a um a peacock where the little sticker it i don't know where it's stuck like the sticker it but it said it was a picture of a peacock so we're gonna see once i put it together um i also got these picture frames y'all so these are some black picture frames for a dollar y'all these some good deals good deals i got this cute little satin scrunchie because i low-key been wanting one i got this right here this scarf is so cute i love like the blue and the brown little bandana prints and i actually have a shirt that would match this like perfectly so i was like oh of course i'm getting this um i also got this other scarf i was really iffy on this y'all i didn't know if i wanted it or not but i figured i could wear it with a good amount of stuff i actually just bought some like hot pink shoes so i think this scarf is gonna go like really cute with it and it's gonna be winter time y'all so i do need some more you know winter stuff like this so boom a dollar a cool little dollar um what else i get y'all let's see i got this little um head like you know the little eye rest thing when you go to sleep i really got this for my friend alex because she wear these with her when she sleep i don't wear these y'all but i figured i'd get her one because it was there um what else oh y'all so i also got these um seat covers they're gray seat covers and y'all know the um the dorm comes with a chair but it's just like an ugly little white chair so i got these gray seat covers and this is actually the print of my throw cover my um my weighted throw cover so yeah it's so cute it came with two of them too so and you know since i have my own dorm this year i get two chairs so now i have two covers to cover them up so got this face mask right here it's like a rejuvenating face mask i know it's upside down but y'all get the point i got this clear phone case because i really needed a clear one i only have you know decorative ones and she said that if i go on her tiktok and i like one of the posts i get this case for free so she really gave me this for free and then i also got this case of spray hand sanitizer right here because you know we gotta stay clean and it came with four for one dollar y'all y'all please don't mind yeah yeah you know i need to shave but it's okay and i think that was all y'all oh last but not least i got one of those little head scratcher things i can't do it right now because of my braids but my sister has one of these and i absolutely love it like it feels so good once you just like just wash your hair you can just like just freely do it so yes y'all i'm so excited i got all of this stuff for one dollar like usually all of this stuff would at least be five at least five like i know these picture frames right here was a cool little 20 25 dollars but i just bought it for one like period so if y'all ever stop in atlanta make sure y'all go visit ben credibles they have different deals like every single day i know i just read a sign in there they said they have 50 cent thursdays y'all from 9 a.m to 2 p.m 
50 cents. You can get all of this for 50 cents. And they have so much stuff in there. But like I said, I was like, um, I want to say I was like 15 minutes late to opening. And people was already in there getting all the good stuff. So I got what I did. And I'm so excited. But now I can finally get on the road, you guys. Um, I have a nine hour drive. So I'm about to go ahead and do that. I might stop and get me something to eat at the at about the two hour mark or you know, whenever I need to fill up on gas. But yes, I hope y'all enjoyed that haul and let's get on this road. <laughs> Y'all, look how bad this traffic is on the other side. Like, when I say I passed that accident, because it's an accident over there. And I passed that accident like a good 10 minutes ago. And this traffic is still backed up, like, all the way down. <laughs> I feel so bad for them, but it's like, dang, I would hate to be on that side. I'm so happy I'm not on this side. Like, people is literally getting out of their cars, trying to see like what's going on down there like because they finna be in traffic for a little while that accident was bad like it was really bad but whew. anyway y'all i'm still in georgia and we get in there to Virginia. All right. good morning you guys today is thursday september 1st 2022 and today is the day that all of you guys have been waiting for i finally moved into my dorm today for my junior year of college and yes y'all i just know today is gonna be a long day that's why i'm still in bed because i just don't want to face it <laughs> but it's okay because right now it is I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna say it's like 8.15 a.m. Yeah, we, we gonna go with that. And I plan on starting to move around, probably nine, or you know, whenever I drag myself out of bed. <laughs> no, but I'm about, to, I'm about to go ahead and get up now, get dressed so I can head over to the school. And yes, y'all, it's finally time to move in. I'm so excited. I do need to go to the warehouse on campus um, and pick up some packages because those are actually for my dorm. I need those for my bed. So yes, you guys, we have a long day planned and let's just get started. So you guys, my car was towed. That's just my look, y'all. Like, of course, the day that I'm, I need to move in, all my stuff is in my car. Of course, my car gets old. <sighs> but I'm not gonna let this mess up my day. I'm gonna go find my car. Hopefully, it's not a lot to get out of this pound, y'all. Like, I can't. <laughs> and we're gonna keep it pushing. Let's just pray. Y'all, look what they done did to my baby. <laughs> She's in jail with all the rest of these ugly ass cars. Like, ew. No, girl, we gotta get you up out of here. Let's go. It's time to go, girl. Let the school year begin. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I just got cleared financially and medically. And now we can finally go move in. <laughs> At the warehouse, getting my packages. If someone will come help me. <laughs> but this is our school warehouse this is where all of our packages and stuff is sent and if we have to come get them all the way in the back of campus <laughs> y'all i'm in the elevator on the way up we're on the seventh floor this year y'all the very last floor i brought a few packages in I'm 
kind of upset about my view because last year I had a view of the lake that's over there. See, so y'all can't even see it, but. Yes, y'all, I got a view of the church and I can kind of see campus a little bit. Yes, y'all, now that we are finally in this dorm, it's time to get some moving around because I'm gonna put these beds together, I'm gonna move with these dresses, y'all know all of that. Y'all, I didn't even see this. Oh, that's cute. They gave us a little peppermint. A little welcome card. I guess I need to fill this out and turn it in, but... Hey, y'all hear the bell in the background? Oh my gosh, like, I am really back on campus. <laughs> this is so surreal, like... Okay, y'all, let me go ahead and start getting moved in. <laughs> o'clock you guys literally 4 p.m <laughs> and i am just now getting all of my stuff up here to my room furniture moved and all of that i had to make two runs to my storage because i had to go get my refrigerator and this other tub right here with more clothes in it but yes, y'all, now I can finally actually move into my dorm. Because, <laughs> yeah, y'all, it's crazy down there. When I say it's crazy, like we only have one elevator and people is just running up and down. Problems everywhere. But you know what? I'm going to worry about me, okay? I finally got all my stuff up here. And I'm about to go ahead, wipe everything down, clean, clean, clean. Oh, it's Fried Chicken Thursday. Oh, it is Fried Chicken it's Thursday. It's Fried Chicken Thursday. Oh, I really want Fried Chicken. Yo, we're back on cafeteria. <laughs> I forgot that I was vlogging, so I need to catch up. But yes, y'all, we're walking to the cafeteria. Fried Chicken Wednesdays. But they changed it to Thursdays, so let's see what's hidden. blank spaces on the wall that I want to cover it all but I only have three pictures what's up you guys so it is later on in the evening to be specific 10 36 p.m and I am just about done hanging up everything and you know decorating 
Um, I still have to put my clothes and shoes away, but I plan on doing that tomorrow. I'm going to just knock that out in the morning. But everything else, I pretty much got up. As y'all can see, I decorated the place and everything. So I'm going to show you guys what my whole room look like once I have everything put together and put up. And yes, but for right now, I wanted to show y'all what I am doing. As y'all can see, I left this wall right here blank, like just a white blank board. So actually, both of my sisters bought me projectors last Christmas. And I have one here in Hampton, and then I have one at home. So this is the one that my sister, one of my sisters bought me. And yeah, we're going to set it up and see if it, you know, shows on the wall and everything like that. That was my whole plan of leaving the wall blank so I can set up this projector. So this is what I have so far. I still got to put everything together. But this is what it looks like. So cute and small and just like handy. So y'all are so excited. Hold on. Let's try to get this set up. Um Y'all, I thought I was gonna set it up, but I need triple A batteries, so I'm gonna have to go to the store and get that once I go shopping for everything else. But yes, I'm so excited that it actually like even worked and focused and turned on. <laughs> so we'll try again next time. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, for right now, I am about to go ahead and wrap it up, clean up a little bit and hit the bed okay i know y'all see these bags i am so tired <laughs> but i will see y'all in the morning good morning you guys it is friday september 2nd and y'all seen the last clip let's just get right into this so i can be done Move up. Hey. So update you guys, I have my mirror hung on my door. I really need to clean it, so you know, don't mind that yet. <laughs> but I have my shoe closet over here. Um all my boots and up there, slides, crocs, converse, you know, all the good stuff. And then my ones right here. And yeah, y'all, I'm not going to say too much because like I said, wait on my room tour blog, but this closet is going to be for all of my jackets and stuff, which is right here. So I separated it. I know it don't really look like it, <laughs> but I separated it hoodies, business stuff, blue jean jackets, zip ups, and then just like general jackets. So yes, I'm going to go ahead, hang all of these up and then y'all, we will be done like pretty much done for real i just gotta unpack all of my business stuff you know get that settled and situated um figure out what i'm gonna do with my bags they're probably just gonna go to the top of the closet honestly because y'all i'm tired <laughs> and yes no we pretty much almost done in here so not least i have these great curtains right here i am just gonna put these up on my closet bars so you know when i have visitors and stuff in they won't see all of my clothes and shoes and all of that so yeah hey y'all so don't mind the people in the background my neighbor over there being loud because she moving in today but I just got back from my storage in the warehouse where we pick up our packages. So I got this right here. I had this last year for my twin size bed because um, I had a roommate last year. And yeah, so I think I'm going to use this to put under one of my mattresses because this one on the right side is a little bit lower than the one on the other side. So, you know, this is a little bit thin, so I think it will raise it to you know the right height so i won't be falling in the middle or none of that so yeah i have that and then i also pick up this package right here so this right here is actually my rug i am so excited to open this hopefully 
it's big enough. I really hope it's big enough to fit this space because I don't know if y'all can see, but it's a pretty big space. Like it's just open for it right there. So I think I got the right size. So we're gonna see. Let's do a little unboxing. I got this rug from Amazon. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> it's so like compacted. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to like fluff it up somehow. It probably be like my blow dryer and you know just try to it out. Why oh, don't put all of this wrap on here? It will be restored within two days and will not affect its usage. Okay. So they saying, you know, over the course of time, it'll flip up. I guess as you walk on it and stuff. Like, but I'm still going to try to flip it up myself. So let's see. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think it might be. I think I might put it this way. Oh. <laughs> Yo, it's so soft. I'm trying to fluff it out. <laughs> Finally. Y'all, I am officially done with a moving in. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a huge thumbs up. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel if you want to see the full room tour, you guys. I absolutely love my room for this school year. But yes, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.